Yeah, good morning, good morning. Good morning, my loved one. God bless you this morning and so forth and so on. Um, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our living God, thank God to wake up this morning and thank God to be alive. Thank God that we wake up and seen it. it's not sun coming up, but soon sun will be coming up as the weather changes, you know. Um, we want to get some blessings so we can go back to the island where we come from and to enjoy the suns and the trees and the rocks and the water and just to enjoy yes yeah, so good morning i soon be leaving out i just want to kill some time because i'm a bit early i can't find my comb to do my edges right so you know i use an old toothbrush and that's all i could have found but good morning good morning lovely good morning this morning how are you this morning and so forth and so on <laughs> god is still available good morning good morning yeah good morning yeah so um a quick subject that come up in my mind this morning as I was taking a shower. I was talking about how um, many people come on Facebook and when they come on Facebook, um, they come on Facebook and they start taking their pictures and they will go to the extra mile to get their pictures taken and they also Photoshop their pictures. Now remember that when you take your pictures and you Photoshop your picture and put your picture out there and all these men start to call you, especially the kind of picture you post and all these guys start to call you, they're just trying to get in your ass. And when all these guys try to call you because of the picture you took and you Photoshop it, some of these guys are looking for a beautiful woman and they like a certain type of woman, they're going to itch on to try to get to you and they're going to try to call you, get your number, they're going to sweet talk you. And if you're not a strong woman and don't know yourself, being that you Photoshop yourself and put yourself out there to look this kind of way and the guy pick you up and next to you know, sweet talking you, you end up at his house. If you end up at a guy house that you meet on Facebook, that's sweet talking because you're Photoshop, don't expect your relationship to be lost. Don't expect it to last at all. Because the same way sweet talk and the same way sweet talk somebody else and you surely and show social media. And the thing about that, when you go to this person, you then you know they, you're not the person that they thought you would be because the way you look in the photo, that's not how you look in real life. And that is a turn off when a person saw your picture and like, well, you know, she looked nice. I like her. And they might be looking for somebody, not looking for nobody, but somebody might be looking for someone that they want in their life. And they might see and say, this look like my type of woman that I can deal with and I can sickle down with. And when they come to get to find out, you look nothing like your picture when you show up. You look nothing like that picture when you show up, your feet all dirty, you're crazy. And some of these people on medication, you know, and their mind is not there. But when you see the picture, you just run because of the picture on the Photoshop to get yourself to put yourself with them. But when you get them, it's not the same person that you saw on the photo. It's not at all. It's just not at all like the picture that you saw. Not at all. And some of them have such beautiful white teeth. And when you see them, all the teeth is all rotten and black. In the front of their mouth, they have no teeth. Some of them have plating. And I know discriminated things could happen. At least you put in a plate. But a lot of them fix certain things. That's not the way it is. And then when you show up at somebody's door, you're looking like a crackhead. You know what I mean? And that's like crazy. Because, I mean, you're fooling people. You know what I mean? And when you show up at the door, you're looking like a crackhead. And like, what the goddamn is this? You know, this is not the same photograph that I saw. That is wrong. And another thing. You have to know that when you put your picture out there too, you have some guys that like to make games with you. And they will try to sweet talk you and tell you all this shit to get to have sex with you. But believe you, when they're having sex with you, it's not just you they're having sex with. Everybody know that they're having sex with you on the internet. And all the people that was liking your picture, your Photoshop picture, of course, because you act like you're all that, they're making them know that you're not all that. Look, she's at my house right now sucking my dick and she's not all that. You know what I'm saying? And they will they will go ahead and set up video camera and the sex and they will share it and WhatsApp. They will send this shit around. You sucking the dick and all this kind of shit. And when you come online, people are just laughing at you because you don't know what the fuck is going on. You know what I mean? Because when you act like you're so nice and you're so good in your Photoshop, Photoshop, and nigga came in and he's like, oh man, I'm going to get this one. Let me let me angle this game for you, you know? Let me angle this game. Let me get out for you. And he started play the game. And next thing you know, you wind up at this motherfucker house. You know, he put his dick in your ass, his dick in your mouth, his dick all over you, spray sperm in your eyes. It's all over your next thing you know, it's all over the internet. And you're the only one that don't know that this shit is all over the internet. That's where the joke at. That's why you got to see God. 
This is where God comes in a little bit, ain't it? Don't you think so? That's where you got to seek God, but not seek the flesh. Because imagine, you go online and you spread out yourself and you Photoshop and you did all that just to get a nigga dick in, a, in your mouth for free. Free course, free course, just by talking to you, tell you. And another thing, I like your photograph. You look so nice, you know. And some of y'all may be like, oh, yeah, I love it. Don't that picture nice? I love that picture. Too. Oh, my God. Everybody's talking about it. How oh, beautiful I look in the picture. Oh, my God. And he's like, oh, yeah, I like that one, baby. You look so sexy. You're fabulous. You're the best looking woman in the world. Oh, my God. If I get you, I'm going to marry you. You're going to be my wife. I'm telling you. I don't even know how I run into your photograph. And I run into your photograph and I saw you. But you are the shit, baby. And let me tell you. You being a nigga house and your knee sucking his dick. Your head be going up and down, and the whole world be seeing that shit on WhatsApp. Do you know what I'm saying? They put your picture out, everybody know. By the time he done with you, honey, he already made the plan to done with you, and they already waiting for your sour face when he said he break up with you. Everybody knows he's going to break up with you before you even know. Because remember, it was a game, and the video is out there, your photo is out there, everybody see you getting it in, and you come back on acting like you're all nice. A nigga got you exposed all the way out there because you're on the internet looking for something that you're not going to find on the internet. And if you find real love on the internet, God knows how you find it. And I don't know how you find it, but I do not believe in it. I do not believe in the internet love, baby. I do not believe in the internet love. You saw me and you love me and you talk all this shit. No nigga can come and talk no sweet shit to me. Because, baby, you talking sweet shit to me. I ain't got time to even listen to the sweet shit you're talking to me. One guy called me the other night, and I thought he called me for like, hello. Hi. You know, I called you before, you know, about the cream. And I'm never, I didn't ever want a cream for buy from the last time. And he showed I want a cream. I'm a pony cream him want. So I said to him, hello. Yes, I know. I remember you. And I said, listen, I got to go. He said, why you got to go? I said, because the Lord said I got to run. <laughs> I said goodbye now. The Lord said I got to go. And the Lord said it and I have to listen to the master. I got to go. So I ain't on my phone. I don't have time for nobody to call me, tell me I'm pretty and this and that. If I can't see the beauty that God give me for myself in mirror, give me two eyes to see that shit for myself. I don't need you to see my shit to tell me about my shit. When God already give me two eyes and give me knowledge, I can see my own self. And when God lead me to the right restaurant like Sweet Greens, where I eat the Sweet Greens every day, so I look in fabulous and drink alkaline water. I don't need you that's not playing for my plate of Sweet Greens to come and tell me how beautiful I look. Because God give me two God them eyes and it's a reason why I wasn't blind and even the blind folks are looking good these days and walking with a stick to the subway in every way without falling down because God gave them other knowledge even though they can't see I don't need you to call my phone to tell me I look good and this and that and all that another thing when a man you, you see the, the devil knows you you see the thing once somebody found out you 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 photoshop your photo you put it out there you're nobody because you're just trying to sell yourself. You're trying too hard to get some like. You, you trying too hard, baby. You, you trying too hard. You, you uncomfortable. You need something to make you comfortable like the Holy Spirit. So you ain't got to be all over the place searching for love that you can't goddamn find. A nigga that's going to use you. Cock you up in the bed and ride you all out. Now you're looking older than where you used to. Now you're looking more like a witch and a witchcraft. You know what I mean? All face all dry. Your skin all dried up. Your was already dried up. Now you're drying up more like an old fucking tree that don't get no water. Walking around with your soul all busted up, all swelled up. Nigga all up in you on Facebook. All everybody knows. He's just jumping up in you like a water bed. He don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? You know he ain't going marry you, I didn't know you ain't gonna be the woman for him, because first thing, he met you on the Facebook, or the Facebook to hook up, you know what I'm saying so that's why he ain't gonna marry you, cause you're spreading your ass out looking for the next like, you're on your phone every second looking to see who like something is wrong with your motherfucking brain find God, find Jesus so you ain't gotta worry about who likes you and who don't like you, cause it doesn't matter, long as God loves you, remember that and when you find that shit out, you don't care about no likes and no love and no shit. You care about just living your life and live and be joyful and nice to other people. That is joyful too. Because you don't want to be nice to a mean person. Let them stay mean. Because you be nice to them, they're trying to get you mean and to insult you, to make you mean when you're joyful. So you're being joyful and leave those motherfuckers right where they are. Yes. 
Another thing, your friend call up, hi, baby, you know, what are you doing? Man, I go smoke some weed. Oh, I could smoke with you. Let's go to a hotel. He's looking for sex. Once a nigga mention hotel, he's looking somewhere to put his dick. You go on a dinner date to eat a dinner date, you're eating some food, and he's saying, oh, baby, after we finish eating, we're going to go to a hotel and hang out. He's looking for sex. A nigga give you a ride in his car, Jai. where we going to go, baby? Let's go hang out. Let's book a hotel. He's looking for sex. A nigga take you to shopping. You go shopping, buy two little cheap shit in a $10 store don't do it you wash it two time that shit bust out in all that shit ain't no good buy strong good shit if a nigga take it to shopping go to good store buy good clothes and then you have the nerve to tell we can buy lunch and go in a hotel and sit and eat it no you're looking for pussy when a nigga looking for pussy you have many words to say when you're looking for pussy like hotel hotel is the key word once you say hotel my eyes open and i'm gone <laughs> Once you say hotel, my eyes become like this, and I'm out, baby. See you later, baby. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, whore. Yes. So you have to understand this shit, you know. There's another catch. You spread it on Facebook. You're looking for likes. You won't get them motherfucking likes. You won't get some dick in your mouth. You go, nigga, go hunt you. Nigga, go call you. Go hook you like a fish and use you, and you become a sperm bag, and when you finish, you just empty you like a waste condom on the side. Move on to the next bitch that looking for the likes is many of them out you're looking for likes in Instagram Facebook and everywhere else Photoshop in the damn photo and when they show up at your house they're looking like cracking their feet all dirty and shit like they ain't washed their feet get a motherfucking pedicure if you wanna be that bitch before you go in a nigga bed get them rough scarf shit off your foot bottom get your toenails painted so his stick could get hard at least when he look down on your foot your foot all dirty and shit photoshopping all that shit going to a nigga house looking all ragged and dirty, your teeth ain't brushed, you put all dirty, need a pedicure, talk about you're that bitch, oh you're that bitch, you're right on social media, you're the social media bitch that everybody kick around like a motherfucking football, let me tell you, looking for fame, looking for fame in the wrong place when God already have you, and give you everything and give you knowledge, you ain't got no motherfucking God, you ain't got no knowledge, let the devil use your ass, let the devil use you up, and when the devil done with you, he's stuck in goddamn hell, because you'll be walking around miserable, Walking around smelling all sour like a sour sperm overnight and you ain't get nothing out of it. You other young motherfuckers are still in shelter like I do and you all fucking all the time. You all talk about, I got my husband, I got my boyfriend. But where your husband and your boyfriend live, why can't you live with them? Why are you still in the fucking shelter going on sucking dick and fucking and you still ain't got nothing? See the devil using your ass. And that's why the government shouldn't give you nothing for your ass. Because your ass is stupid and your ass is grass. And once you lay like that, your motherfucking snake in the motherfucking grass. The devil got your ass. Just like the snake that got Adam and Eve in the garden is the same shit. So you walk around talking about I'm that bitch. I'm fabulous. And I'm all that in a bag of motherfucking chips. You ain't all that. And you're not a motherfucker. You are a bag of chips. That costs a 99 cent or 25 cents or 75 cents or even 2.99 bag of chips. You are that chips but you're not that bitch. Let me tell you something. Them niggas will laugh you to scorn. They will send your pussy picture all over. They will send your body over to their friends. They will have conference. Who's gonna fuck you first? Who is gonna get that pussy first? And who's gonna bust a nut on that first before they get to the next one and pass you around like a pass around donkey? You don't know no better than niggas be telling, let's go to a hotel, we're gonna drink, we're gonna eat, we're gonna go. Once you hear the word hotel, you out that motherfucker, run home to your mama. Mama! You know what he said? Hotel. Don't forget, I tell you that ass, cause y'all don't be listening. They come for my ass, they be coming for something else, cause honey, what a $20 outfit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mother the twenty dollar outfit. They be coming for that ass. They be coming to try to stick that nigga. Not my ass, baby. Not my ass. This is some Jesus Christ ass up in there. I blow you with some scripture up my ass when I fart on you. You believe that it's magnet. Girl, you don't know. God is with me, I'm telling you. And I'm telling you, ain't nobody getting up in my rectum. Ain't nobody getting up between my leg. Ain't nobody getting up in nowhere in no part of me. All part of me that COVID already take. And God for bless the all is closed. And I finished many parts. That mean I'm not 
let nobody in. When God close the hole and give you a menopause, no more period, and close that shit, it's time for you to serve the Lord. It's time for you to bow down and pray, God, have mercy upon my soul. I know I sin. Have mercy upon my soul in this world today. I don't know how I'm going to eat and drink today, but I know you're my provider. Instead, you're spreading on Facebook to show how fat your pussy is, how deep the hole is, how long can you take it, Photoshop all that shit, buying everything and running up all the time. You see that photo? Oh my God, everybody loves me. It's like a motherfucker. I ain't got no brain. See, God, and then you got knowledge, and when you got knowledge, ain't nobody running to no hotel to you to smoke. Ain't nobody running to no hotel after I play the meal. Cause first of all, a man come to me and tell me, we gonna go eat. I don't go on eating date. That's number one. I do not go on an eating date. I don't. And if I sure do go on an eating date, you are gonna be the laughing stock because I'm gonna order all the good shit that I can eat, which you're not gonna sell because I don't eat certain. I don't eat red meat and all that. You know what I'm saying? So you're not gonna get. I don't, I don't drink alcohol and I don't smoke cigarette. I smoke a little weed sometime. Oh yeah, sometime. I stopped before, but you know it kind of helped me. Cause after COVID, I was itching like a bitch, like I got some kind of fleas from my head to toe. And after that shit, it stopped it from itching and shit from head to toe. After COVID, like I got fleas and shit all over my body. It's like a whole dog with fleas. After I smoked smoking the weed, then it calmed down and it left. Thank you Jesus, cause I couldn't. Stand and that shit, that shit was worse than being in hell. So let me tell you something. Ain't nobody going to come and put nothing up in me. Ain't nobody, because I'm not letting you in. You could talk all the Christmas you want to talk. You can talk all the sweet shit you want to talk. I don't give a rat's ass what you want to talk. You ain't getting up in this bitch. The little strength that I have left is to work and to serve the Lord. The little strength that I have left in this body is not to go sick and no dick and jumping all up, jumping all up, jumping Jumping up all up on that dick, losing all my vibration to no dick. I ain't be doing it. I am here for the rest of my life to pray and to serve the Lord. Thank God for knowledge. Thank God for knowledge. I ain't got to walk up in them hotel because I used to walk up in a hotel with sugar daddy. You know, I used to walk up in a hotel with sugar daddy. I tell you, jumping on his dick and shit. I don't be doing no shit like that no more because I got God, baby. And God fulfill my needs. Hallelujah. But y'all, y'all Photoshop bitch and Facebook and all over the Photoshop and looking for love, you're looking for love in the wrong motherfucking place you just gonna get used and put in the garbage like you take off a waste condom a condom that you already use and something in it and you just drop it in the garbage that's what you become because you see, you don't have enough sense for yourself to realize if you're beautiful, put your picture you can put a normal picture without makeup or whatever you wanna put out there if somebody like you, they like you gotta go the extra mile the extra mile and checking your phone and getting all excited and walking all about showing people a picture. Look at this. Oh my God. You believe it? Do you, don't I look so nice? Giving yourself praise. It's praising your own goddamn self. That's pretty low when you got to praise your own goddamn self. Because you already know what you look like. You already have the confidence. And no, you ain't got to go around praising yourself. Don't that picture nice? Oh my God, I love it. Are you talking about yourself? You're a sick bitch. You're a sick motherfucker. Seek the Lord and stop seeking dick between your legs because he ain't going to help you. <coughs> it's not going to help you. I got to get my alkaline medicine. You know when I run out my alkaline medicine. I supposed to go on since yesterday. I said I'm going to go tomorrow. You understand? See, see God. The world is over. There's nothing out here. If you find a good man, you can have a good man. Ain't no time for you to be jumping on dick and changing dick and waiting for somebody else and doing this and that. It's, you find one good person, you hold them down and that's that. And I doubt you're going to find it on Facebook where you're looking it for and the internet. I doubt you're going to find that because most of these Facebook brother, they slick. When I mean they slick, they slick like a shiny shoes, motherfucker. They slick. Okay. They will take a picture and pass it around. They'll have sex with you and videotape it. They pass. When the time they're done with you, you're finished. You're finished. Oh, by the time they're done with you and pass you on to the next one. And some of them ain't got no brain. Somebody ain't got no brain because they become like, me and my boyfriend just break up. Oh, the same boyfriend that you find on Facebook that everybody knows, the old Facebook, the old group of everybody knows who you are before you fuck him. And when you do, and they know that he's going to, like, man, I'm going to lock that bitch off tomorrow. They know tomorrow was coming. So when you come and you talk about a breakup with my boyfriend, you're too late because everybody know what was going to happen. And what they do at that time? 
Somebody else are like, oh, baby, I'm so sorry that happened to you. That nigga is not mad enough for you. He's not good enough, you know what I'm saying, to treat a sister like that, a queen like that at that. I mean, that's wrong for him to do to you like that, you know what I mean? And all of that. And that's one of them from the same group. And then you're a, you're a bitch without no knowledge. You're like, yeah, you're right, you know, blah, blah, blah. You're talking like, you want to come to my house and visit me? I could make you feel better, baby. I cook for you. You run all over the air for nigga to cook for you. Talk about feel the same nigga from the next group passing you around. And then he get his turn. And then another one get their turn. I gotta wipe my nose. And another one get their turn. And another one get their turn. And another one get their motherfucking turn. You gonna pass your own donkey. Passing you around. They passing you around because... They realize that you're looking for the flesh. You ain't got no sense to be trying to manifest something for yourself to sell, how to do something good for yourself. You're trying to get dick. So that's what you got. That's why you got this. what you wanted man you you wanted the flesh you don't want god you wanted the flesh <laughs> you wanted the flesh don't you don't you want me baby don't you want me oh i was working mm -mm, in a hotel bar when i met you Mm -mm -mm -mm, Don't you want me, baby? Don't you want me? Oh, don't you want me, baby? Don't you want me? Oh, boy. Yes, darling, the final is what? And God is with me, Lord. Lord, you know they're going to fight me this summer. Lord, I know they're going to fight me. They're going to fight me for my little buns that God gave me. Eat my screens every day. Every day I have to spend money for food. Every day my food costs me $20 every single day. $20 every single day. Sometimes $21 every single day my meal costs me. Every single day. Because I sweet greens me eat every day. I eat potatoes, roast potatoes, scoop of chicken, um, chickpeas, avocado, a lot of kale, oregano, um, raw onions, and um, cucumbers, sometimes with tomatoes, sometimes I don't want the beets, one big plate of food, sauce. So God is great. Nobody can call me, come sweet up, my darling. Then I have nowhere I go. Me just fart them out of my body wall. <laughs> no, darling, not here. Fart them out of my body wall. The Lord is good and the Lord is great. Like, I can't get my food, my all right, because that's what me eat. And that's about it. So I love you. I gotta go now. I gotta get dressed to get out of here. Put on my shoes and my jacket and stuff. I love you. Call and get your cream. 347-469-3874 and get your cream. 347-469. I'm a psyche and I can read the mind. I look good, girl. I look goddamn good. You know I look good. Walking, shaking your head. Your butt is full of cellulite. Damn it. I know when the devil trying to touch me, you know. I just know it. I just know, like, bad mind. And your whole ass is bubbling up underneath your clothes. It's cellulite. That shit looking like you got lumps of junks. I don't know, baby. The other day I saw one of my goodies, so like, goodie, you look so sexy in your past and realize you got people full up her diet, but that's what full up and cock up on in the clothes. <laughs> I thought it was a butt. I tell you, Lord, I tell you, I tell you. I got to start wearing pampas too, because I realize the latest year everybody be wearing pampas on their clothes to look sexy. I tell you, boy. Mm-mm. You know when the devil would attack, you can see them, and you move on their way, and they're still coming at you like, what the fuck? I say suck it down like that shit, boy. That shit look like a waterbed. That shit look like cornmeal parched tie up in a scandal bag. 
<laughs> I want to eat you for me no know. I want a twenty dollar outfit. Me no know. All right, then ask for it. It was only twenty dollars. I said, why not? I mean, I know what them eat me for. Eh? I only got rate me so. Eh? That's why them eat me so. Chew. You got got rate me so. Chew. That's why them eat you so. Chew. Like I said. When I come in this house and I'm high in this house, don't start no shit in this house, ain't gonna be no shit in this house. When I'm high in this house, don't come talk no shit in this house, I said bye to you in this house. That's right, goodbye. Bye bye, bitch. You really had a fucking nerve. Why, when you walk around looking like some cornmeal parched up in a plastic bag, you wanna fuck with me? I don't know. You look like a cornmeal parched. In a plastic bag because yeah, eat red meat, yeah, eat pork and beef and chips and all this nasty shit in the pack. And when I don't eat it, you look at me like, oh fuck that bitch. Oh yeah, fuck you and your food, bitch. God got me some greens. AlkalineJungle.com and get your alkaline needs. AlkalineJungle.com and get all your alkaline needs, baby. Right at AlkalineJungle.com. Get your detox. Get your Irish mash pill, get your capsule for cancer, diabetes, all kind of sickness. Clean up the body and put real food in it, a real food. And the breast implant, I'm get big again, darling. Oh, God. When I'm old and I'm angry, the last time I'm COVID, they didn't catch me all the way down yesterday, them long. I know them full up back and take time to then go right back up. Everything about full up back because I can't wait for the time warm, so I'm going to start running the park down there. So that's the only reason I'm going to buy this for $20 too, you know, I'm going to run down the park down there. So. And so forth. I mean, I have a lot of clothes over here. I got one, two, three pants and dirty. I put on this this morning. Come for work. Come go for a laundry often because I don't keep a lot of clothes over here. Like a lot of stuff in there. The washing in the storage. Yes. Well, them body look like a cornmeal parish step in a plastic bag. Them brighty. They see a body look like a cornmeal parish step in a plastic bag. I just juke it and squeeze it out. I want to you. Eh? Anyway, darling, me got here. Come here, have things to do. Me love you, no. God bless you, no. All of you, no support. And please, guys, you want the cream? You buy the cream because it's good cream. You know, you're all paying $100 for a small little cream in a hand niggle. You wipe it two times and it's done and you don't get no result. My cream is result. And it's a good portion you get for the small one. Anybody buy it will tell you. It's a good amount. A good is you and my customers that start using the cover when we get to the cream yet. And you fully all the way up. When we stop at the neck, we fully all the way up. So you're getting good cream and you're getting good result. I haven't creamed since the other day. I think I need to cream up now. You can tell. I need to cream up now, you know? But it's not bad because I've been up and down and I don't cream up. But it's not bad. I love you guys. God bless you. God be with you. And so on. Yeah, I love it too, goody. You know, soon my birthday is coming up and I'll be, um, I'll be 48 years old. And my birthday is coming up soon. God bless you. I love each and one of, every one of you guys that's here that support me and buy my product. Thank you so much for your blessings. I don't have to be outside sucking dick. I don't have to out here selling pussy because of you. Because you support me and help me. And even though I'm in the shelter, thank God for the shelter as well. And God bless America, I must say, because they approve me and they're trying to help me. So I must give them thanks and tell them I really appreciate your help um, um, for helping me to get in this apartment. I haven't get it yet, but you approved me. So I want to say thanks to the government and I want to say thanks to all the people that are looking out for me. I want to say thanks to the lady that always fill out the farm for me here and renewing my food stamp and stuff by the time for expire before I even know she renewing it. Thank you, ma'am, so much for your help and thank you for your generosity and thank you for everything else that you guys are doing for me. I still thank God for the bed to lay on my head. At least I'm not outside. So I'm grateful i'm not ungrateful i'm still grateful for everything that you guys doing for me and i'm grateful for everything that you guys give to me i just want you know thanks for the gift card for 25 dollars i went to target and i bought a dress with it for the 25 dollars thank you also and god bless all of you and i love you stay focused know that you're strong know that you're beautiful know that god is able and you know sometimes i get to a point I must tell you this, sometimes I get to a point when stress want to hit me, when he want to come at me, and I start to smile at it. I start to smile and say, look, I got God, you know, I got God, I'm not alone. So um, when he tried to hit me that way to put me in that place, I was like, nope, I got God. 
I'm not alone, you know, I got my provider. So it's okay. So then I smile, I smile at that and I just blow it off. I don't take it in. I don't consider on it and I don't go with it because I know I'm not alone and I know I got faith and I know that God is with me. You know, let me tell you something. If you feel aware, most of the time if you masturbate, oh my God, is the worst thing you can do because that's how you can feel when the spirit actually left you. And you're saying to yourself, why God left you, you know? But then you got to think about you left him first because if you're going to do something that you know that's not approved by your mother and your father and they kick you out of the house, house because you're doing something that they're not approve of then you kick on out of the house because of something that you do so if god left you you can feel when the spirit is not with you because you feel buried down you feel weighty you feel heavy you feel buried down in a certain way like you know a certain situation you don't need to feel like that you feel it in your heart you feel it in your soul you don't want it. So masturbation is a terrible thing it does set you back and it does let the spirit leave you and when the spirit come back to you and you pray over it and ask God to forgive you if you feel good you smile oh God thank you for forgiving me for the last time when I masturbate I really want to thank you that you're back but I ain't gonna do it no more you know what I mean so you gotta be you gotta keep it real bro you know what I mean you know if you're not doing things to bring negative energy down on you then they can't see they can't stress you or they can't get to you because it's negative energy and a negative energy really needs you to feed off you and they want you to stoop that low so when the spirit left you then they can come over and conquer you definitely i'm oh, sorry so you understand me definitely can come and they can conquer you and when they conquer you, that's the time they start to bury down on your soul and start to feed you with negative energy and start telling you negative things like this and that and that and you start to feel a certain way. Right? So when I remember that I got God, I was like, God, I think and I got you and I can talk with you, you know, uh, you're my friend, you know, I can, I can have a conversation with you. When I'm walking, when I'm by myself, you know, I just know all things because I'm not alone. I'm not just in this world with other people in this world, but I got you. And that is what keeps you strong because you know that you're not alone. Like stress, don't even come to me with that because God going to fix that. I know that's going to be done and it's going to be done. It's just in time. You know, just keep my faith, no masturbate, and just try to do the right thing. The right thing to keep the spirit around you, the spirit in you. Because then it cut off, then you could feel you're all left alone, walking around, dragging around, you know, like some jug head, you're just walking around. You're not peaceful. You're not peaceful at all. Because you ain't feeling that peace from within. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Pay a flame. Mm-mm. Be a flame, I come from my chest. It's on the flame. Can we eat right? I should be eat right all those flames. It's not no cold, it's flame. I'm gonna get my alkaline jungle too and get my medicine because regular I get my medicine, all that didn't come up, I'm gonna have that, but my medicine ran out from the alkaline jungle that comes, so I'm gonna go and get some tomorrow. I did supposed to come for one from Wednesday, forget it from Wednesday. Alright, guys, I'm gonna ship off, I'm gonna go ship off the stuff just now. Time for me to go, because I gotta go and ship off the stuff. I don't wanna go too early. So I'm going to go ship off your stuff and today and so forth. I'm good that you got the $300 buckle cream and it was only supposed to be 200 You never have no small buckle, so I seen a two big bottle. Because I didn't have no small bottle to, to break it down. To get a small bottle, so I seen a two big bottle. All right, so God bless you. I love you guys. You know, you always get extra sometime with me. And you know, I keep it real, you know what I mean? Some people are complaining about this and I feel the cream. Go and buy it somewhere else. Go and buy it somewhere else. You don't want to buy it from me. That's fine. Because everybody go buy it somewhere else. You always come back to me. You understand me? Because my price is fair and the amount that you're getting. And I know you get a result right away. You ain't got to use so much bakla cream and I wait. I get a result and buy one next one and I wait. Not like that. You get a result right away. Your skin pretty and clean. So God bless you. You have a good one today. Know that God is able and call me to get your cream. 347-469-3874. The cash up is Olivet Smelly. Dollar sign. Tina Skin Care, which is O Oliver, first and last name Olivet, and then Dollar Sign T I N A S K I N C A R E. Dollar Sign Tina Skin Care. And you send your address, not through the cash app, but to the regular phone, and you zip and your correct name, and I ship you off. Everybody get the shipment, everybody's happy, everybody is joyful. Right? When I sell, sell to look water, don't sit when I good. It's good cream and everything been improved since we've been there. Everything even been better since we've been in the shelter when it comes to my product. It's like a lot of things was holding me back and just bringing me down. I mean, 
from the narcissist man that shit was crazy what i went through i went to debt and come up but god is good and i'm joyful i can't do it on the negativeness but the positive so god bless all of you today cook your food make sure you get up early you cook your home today don't wait till in the evening to cook that don't make no sense your home all day you cook early you cook, you do, you spread up your bed, you clean up your bed, you do early, you get up early morning, you do everything. And you cook. So by the time you eat your food, you don't digest your food by 8 o'clock. So you don't have to have no food and put your chest eating late at night. If you have your heart burn and all them sitting here laying with the food on your chest. Cook your food early, eat your food early, and enjoy your life. Right? Cook your food early and enjoy your food and enjoy your life. Remember, once you're dead and you're gone, you're in the casket, you don't have this life no more. Enjoy your family. Enjoy the time with your family. Enjoy with your lover. Enjoy, just enjoy. You go to buy a little dress or something if you can afford to buy, put it on. Braid up your ear, make yourself beautiful. Live your life. I tell myself when I almost died that if I could just get a chance to be beautiful one more time, I'm gonna be damn beautiful this summer. You know what I'm saying? Wear nice things and look good because at the end of the day, you work hard. You work hard at the end of the day. You just have dragged on yourself, I dragged on yourself, I dragged on yourself. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to do that. I feel me have gas for this morning. Oh my God. So much gas coming out. Yeah, so basically that's what it is. At least you guys know me, you know? And so forth. You said the security guy was coming out because I put the, um, the other lock, padlock, hmm, padlock and the, um, and the, and the, and the locker. And if you take it out, I'm put the other lock out sitting upon it, right? And then he was walking as I go before me, because I know I was going to let a big one, you know? And then the guy go in front of me, and then it's just burp, burp. I said, man, I'm sorry, man. I've been always falling all the time. I couldn't hold it, you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's how it is. Sometimes it embarrass you, but what you got to do, you got to laugh it off. You can't, you can't take that shit serious and be mad about it. Yeah, it's been going off like a fucking racket. You just got to let the gas out and just go with it. Especially if you're eating green, greens, you're eating good. That's just the thing, boy. I'm telling you, that's just the thing. I'm telling you. But go ahead and clean your house and cook your food and eat early. So by 8 o'clock, you're done eating. So your body have a chance to make your stomach stay down. You know, when you eat late, your stomach stay more bigger. You know what I'm saying? If you even eat a lot and you eat early, have time to digest it down. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, because you know, I eat, boy. I eat like a motherfucker. <laughs> My plate be bigger than greens, big plate of kale and stuff. But I enjoy it. And when I sleep, I have no problem, you know, and so forth. So what happened to you when you eat a lot of, like a little kale and you, you cut up, bake a chicken breast and chop it up fine? So you have to put it your kale and your apple and all this stuff like what I eat. The thing about it is when you're bleaching your skin sometime too, you have to know that when you're bleaching your skin also and you're eating a lot of red meat, um, a lot of people have ugly eyes. Your eyes get very ugly. Um, you get a lot of swelling over the eye here and you get a lot of big swelling on it, the eye, a big bag up on it, the eye here. On it, the eye here, you have like a big bag on it, your eye over the eye. That's because it's coming from the meat and the stuff that you're eating. So when you're creaming your skin sometimes, you still have the same ugly big old bag up here. So that's because what you eat, you need to change what you're eating. Make sure you eat a lot of greens, drink a lot of alkaline water, so your skin can look good. So your skin can look fine. You understand? You can't have the big old bag by your eye because what you're eating, it taking so long to digest in your system. It shows on the face. So that's why your face looking older when you eat more meat and other things. So my face looking different. When you eat more meat and eat more, so make your face look real old and ugly. You know what I mean? So when you're eating alkaline, drinking alkaline water and eat your veggie and stuff, it make your face look better. Even when you're creamy, you look more better. You look more beautiful. You know what I mean? It have a lot to do with how you eat and how you drink. You have a whole lot to do with that. How you eat and how you drink. All right? Hi, Mama. How you doing? Hi, Hi baby. So I'm fine. So I'm going to go now, guys, because I got to be on the work. I got to get dressed to get out there and ship your stuff off. So call and get your cream, 347 469 3874. And God be with you and your family. And I do love you. But God is always available. Don't let him pass.